you're driving your Subaru and your tachometer and your odometer stop working and the ABS light come on, it's most likely your alternator is not charging your battery anymore, so your battery is dying. Alright, so if you think your alternator is suspect and not recharging your battery, so let's say it's a really, really cold day and things thing is just going dead, pick up a, a voltmeter for your battery, right, and then find yourself an additional ground cable. I went and bought this one in a parts store. Ground it directly to the alternator, obviously not to the power. Uh, that is the positive. Anywhere kind of on the base, you see this is what's supposed to be providing the ground, is this bolt. But as you can tell, it's got a lot of corrosion on the rest of the engine. So with this uh, extra ground cable connected, and I do it, I disconnect this sucker. Right, I'm dropping down. So the alternator without this cable is not charging the battery. Right? So the multimeter is connected to the battery. The extra ground cable is disconnected. Not looking so good. So the alternator is doing nothing right now. Right? I reconnect this guy. Here's your little sparks. It's going to go back to charging. So in this particular case, it's a bad ground from the alternator that's causing the battery not to charge. So I'll find a place to reroute this permanently, and I'll take off this pivot bolt, put this underneath, probably in the front of the back, and um, get this alternator grounded better, because without it, the battery is not charging and this thing's going to die. Otherwise, you can tell that your alternator not charging is probably the tachometer. It's not working. Or at least it'll stop working once that battery gets low enough. Your ABS, this on a Subaru anyways, your computer will start to shut down systems to con basically conserve your fuel I'm injection. I'm pull this in somewhere warmer. I can work on it. I wanted to show you where I ran my extra ground cable to the alternator. So the pivot bolt is normally, at least on the Subaru, um, that's providing the ground. Oh yeah, you gotta take off these really highly protective covers, which are now like garbage, so we'll throw those away. Okay, um, the back of this pivot bolt, it has a, let's get some more light down here. It has an extension uh, with, uh, you can take this little clip off, which just prevents it from spinning. So I stuck the, the end of my new ground cable uh, back here, and I ran it down and under over the AC and around, and I'm going to connect it to the ground of the battery. You can't connect it to the chassis, but I want to run it to the ground just so I can pop it off if I had to. Um, so we'll get this connected back up and test it again. And before you attach it, make sure you take some sandpaper, grind it down, because look, look at all this stuff on here. It's this white powdery corrosion. Probably what led to the alternator not grounding properly anymore through here. Um, and it does actually have a, a washer there. And this normally sits in between there and there. So this is probably not helping as well. In my case, it's the ground cable. So it's definitely worth checking yours if your battery is not charging.